Welcome back to another SAT video. Today we are going to do word problems. So let's start with the first question. Vijay is building a new rectangular enclosure for his chickens. It has to be 40 feet. So it's a rectangular enclosure that needs to be 40 feet. And he wants the width to be 8 feet. So we are given that the width has to be 8 feet if L is the length. So if I write L and L is the length, then what is the um, equation that best models the situation? So the first thing is that we will notice that 2L plus 16 should be equal to 40. So over here, which of these equations can be representing that? So I clearly see over here, A is not the right answer, B is not the right answer. C would be 2L plus 8 times 2 is 16 equal to 40. So this means C would be an answer. Let's move ahead. Next question is, a barber offers two options to the barber in his barber shop. There is $15 for the regular haircut and $20 for the dulex. If we have R regular haircuts and three fewer dulex, so I'm going to write R is regular, then number of dulex haircuts would be R minus three. And the price of each of these is R is $15 and $20 is the dulex. So our equation should be 15 R plus 20 times R minus three. And then the total amount that he's making is equal to 500. So then clearly first option is the right option. And that would be your answer. Let's look at the next question now. A meteorologist estimates on a sunny day, the air temperature is about four degrees, decreases by four degrees for every thousand feet. On a certain day, the air temperature outside the airplane flying above Seattle is 58 degrees and the ground temperature is 70 degrees. So in such a question, what we should be looking at is if the height of the plane is X feet, right? Then the temperature is decreasing. So my ground temperature is going to be 70. And for every feet, 1000 feet of height, the temperature is decreasing. So I would say minus 4 by 1000 times x would be the temperature of the plane. So in this case, the temperature of the plane is given as minus 58. So in these options, we just see 70 is equal to minus 4 by 1000. But however, in this case, we can write this as 70 is equal to 4 by 1000 x minus 58. So the, I think the right answer should be B. This is the way we would interpret this question. So the next question is, Oliver mows lawns in his neighborhood. He charges $10 for regular yard and five extra for a large yard. In one week, he mows six more large yards. So if we say X is the number of regular yards, regular lawns, then X plus six would be the number of large yards that he is mowing. mowing. And uh, totally he's making $625. So he takes 10 for regular. So this would be 10x plus he takes 5 extra. So 15 times x plus 6 should be equal to 265. So which option is this? If r is the number of regular yards, so instead of x, they have taken r. So it should be 10r plus 15 times 6 plus r. 6 more. So this should be 10 R plus, which one's 15 times six plus R should be equal to 625. So this should be your answer. The next question is, Alma and Erica put work in a part-time where they're stocking shelves. So at 7 a.m. on Saturday, they begin unpacking. So Alma takes one box for every six minutes. So the rate at which she's unpacking is going to be one sixth the number of minutes. And Erica is doing that same thing, one box every five minutes. So her rate is going to be one by five. So these are the two things that you should be looking at in your equations. Now they're saying that Erica starts at 45 minutes and totally they're unboxing 24 boxes. 
and x represents the number of minutes which she has been working on so alma has been working on for x minutes so x times 1 by 6 would be the number of boxes she has unpacked and we know that erica is joining 45 minutes later so that would be x minus 45 and then the total number of box would be 24 so the option should be um answer should be a let's move ahead to the next question so over here we have cecilia rents a moving truck that uses a gallon of gas so these kinds of questions are actually quite practical they're used whenever you rent a car. So say you rent a car and then that car uses a gallon of gas every 10 miles and the cost of the rental is 29.95. So if you ever rented a car, you would relate to this. So you have $29.5 per day as the rental cars charges and for every mile that she's traveling, she has to pay 0.89. So your base is 29.95 plus 0 0.89 times X, considering X is the number of miles she's traveled. Now, in addition to this, she has to fill up the gas tank to the amount of gas that she used so that it is at the same level. Otherwise, you're charged with an extra fee typically. So here she's traveling X miles and replaces the gas and the cost of the gas is $225 per gallon so if x is the amount of distance that she's traveling then x divided by 10 would be the amount of gas that she would buy and then this would get multiplied by 2.25 gallons and this would be her total cost so let's look if any of these equations this one's not considering the gas that she has to pay this one's not considering the mileage of the car so I think the right option should be C, where it's considering both these things, and that should be equal to 65.63. And that is the right answer over here. All right, let's take another uh, question. Now we're going to look at questions which are word problems with inequalities. So the first question is, Julia has $5 to spend on lemons. Lemon cost is $0.59 each and there is no tax on purchase. So which of these inequalities? So she has $5 and each lemon costs 5.9. So the maximum lemon she can buy are $5. So it's going to be less than $5. Cost of each lemon is 0 0.59. So it would be 0 0.59 times X should be less than or equal to Five. In this case, this is the D option over here, which is the number of lemons that she would be able to buy. Let's take a look at the next question now. Here we have Dominic is allowed to play up to eight hours of video games this week. So the total hours is eight and they want to play video games for at least four hours over the weekend. So if the number of hours he is playing over the week is T, then I would say T plus 4 should be less than or equal to 8, or I can rewrite it as 4 is less than or equal to 8 minus T. So 8 minus T is greater than or equal to 4. So my answer would be the option A. Now let's take another question. Here you have Dorothy is making sausages and she wants to make at least 24. That means your inequality has to be greater than or equal to 24. That weigh 12 ounces each and X is the total weight of this. So X divided by 12. So total weight divided by weight of each sausage should be greater than 24. So our answer should be A. Now, the next question is, Anton must finish reading a 369 book, a 369 page book in the next seven days. If X is the number of books that he must read, then what is the uh, time that he must, how many pages should he read to finish? And we've all been there. We've all had to read books in a given certain amount of time. So 369 is the total number of pages. And if he has to read X pages per day, then the X per pages per day have to be more than the time allocated. So here we're saying seven days times the number of book pages he reaches, reads every day should be greater than 
or equal to 369. So your answer should be option C. Now the next question is Victoria is running a fundraiser. We've all been there. We've had to raise fundraiser and her goal is to raise more than 5,500. So in these inequality questions directly, if it's more than a certain value, just say whatever something has to be greater than 5,500. And the campaign has already raised $2,324. Then which of these is to find the amount of money that still needs to be raised? So if X is the amount that still needs to be raised, this plus 2324 should be greater than 5,500. So let's take a look at which of these options. In this case, she just wants more. So we don't even need the equal to sign. So our answer should be the option B over here. So this is the end of this video. I hope you like this video. Do hit the like button, subscribe, comment on which topics you would like to see more SAT videos on. And let me know your thoughts.